Well, the trust pays a monthly dividend, uh, which is uh, attractive and uh, at a sustainable level. So uh, investors looking for that type of income profile, I think the fund is very attractive. Then looking at our shareholder register, then our shareholders range from institutional shareholders through to the private client wealth managers and their clients, through to uh, a long tail of retail investors and individuals. So our shareholder base is very much across the board. Over the short term, the fund has underperformed its benchmark, and that's principally due to some issues with regard to our retail uh, exposure. Although we have no exposure to shopping centres or to traditional high street shop units, we have an exposure to retail warehousing, and we have been hit by a number of CBAs, uh, which have been very prevalent in the, the retail sector over the last uh, 12 to 18 months. Uh, the focus of activity is to uh, repairing that income and restoring value. Uh, over the longer term, over the 10-year horizon, then the fund has uh, outperformed its benchmark. The fund, importantly, has uh, never cut its dividend either. When you consider the long-term total return from uh, UK commercial property, then the income component comprises around about two-thirds of that uh, return. So income is uh, extremely important. So when you then start looking at uh, BMO Commercial Property Trust, uh, there are a lot of uh, initiatives within the portfolio, a lot of asset management, a lot of refurbishment, redevelopment, relettings that will uh, uh, in increase the income derived from the portfolio and as such I believe a 5% uh, return should be sustainable. So our five year forecasts are for total returns of around about four, four and a half percent. So we're looking at capital values in certain segments uh, coming off, but uh, if you're looking at that type of return, then again, we're looking at the importance of the income return across the board. Uh, uh, where we're seeing opportunities, I would say we're favoring uh, regional uh, office markets, uh, some of the uh, industrial markets. At the moment we're avoiding retail properties uh, because of the uh, highly publicised uh, CBAs with tenants and rental reductions but that sector will become oversold and there may well be some buying opportunities uh, in the future. Well, Brexit is obviously having uh, an impact on the fund. Uh, when you look at the capital markets, uh, transactional volumes are way down this year, so uh, opportunities to uh, buy good quality stock are few and far between. Uh, I would say if there's a managed outcome to Brexit, then there should be uh, more stock available in the market. Uh, across the portfolio, um, Brexit is causing uh, our tenants and, and companies to uh, delay uh, their decision making and their commitments. Uh, so we've got uh, a, a significant amount of activity uh, ongoing in the portfolio, but to close those files and to contract those deals is taking a time. So uh, as a practitioner, we are looking forward to uh, a satisfactory resolution to the uh, Brexit.